Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you my code for the simulation of the wireless communication system on MATLAB. Okay. So uh, I presume that you already know the basics of a wireless communication system, right? Uh, if you come to this video, so well, it is basically a transmitter, and you have a channel, and then you. Uh, send your message through this channel which is received by a receiver and then uh, you hear the sound from the receiver that you have connected now of course you know that there is a lot of processes made in uh, in between like coding of the of the message like the modulation of it and uh, putting your message in a carrier uh, and then of course upsampling and then you send this through the channel and when you get it at, uh, at the transceiver you you do basically the same steps but in uh, you flip the order okay you do it uh, in, in, in the opposite order so you get to get back to the original signal so you make a down sampling and then you make a demodulation and, and this sort of stuff okay so all of this process I made uh, in this code a simulation for all this process Okay, so let's let's start right away and see how it works. Now, at first, uh, we need two uh, signals to uh, input to MATLAB. Okay, these are the two sound waves, sound signals that you are going to uh, transmit. So, I have here two uh, dot wave files. They are uh, basically examples from MATLAB. Okay, so let's listen to this. Okay, this is this is the first one. Now here is the second one. Okay, so these are the two samples we're gonna work with. Now also you have another code called create message. This one records your voice, okay? And you can see here that the time of recording is five seconds. Okay, so this basically records your uh, voice to create the dot wave uh, file of your message. Okay, so let's first try this small uh, create message uh, code. Okay, okay, this is testing for recording. Okay, so here you go. This is the signal I made. Now we need a name, so I will call it I don't know message. Okay, and here you go. Now you have a message that wave uh, file. Now, now let's start to let's start to uh, use our uh, uh, communication uh, system. Okay. Okay. Now, wh why we call it here FDMA? Well, this is a scheme uh, of the transmission, which basically means that you have a channel and you divide this channel into sub channels and you put uh, every signal in this new sub channel. So what you do is that you may you have two carriers and uh, you have uh, a slightly different frequency for each carrier. So you make with this carrier. Uh, you put each carrier, I'm sorry, into your uh, sub channel and you send uh, each message uh, on a different carrier. Now, then you add this, this uh, two signals and make it one, of course, with different components of frequency, and then you separate it again at the receiver. Okay, when we're gonna see this in our simulation. Now, uh, this is called the uh, uh, scheme. Okay, so let's start and try this one. Now here you have to select your first uh, sound uh, message. So let's let's start with this one, and let's make the other one the message we just created. Okay, now it is busy and it will give us the result. Thank you. 
Okay, that's very good. So now what you what you have heard is the, the first is the first message, this uh, first sound, and then after it you heard the second message. Okay, so let's see the, the simulation results. Okay, so this is the first figure. Here you see the spectrum with a frequency uh, uh, spectrum of course and amplitude of the signal. This is the first signal, and this is the second one which is a message with, with my voice and you can also see this one. now once you make it modulated you have uh, put it on your carrier okay so you see it is at 100 and you see the other one at 160 so yes this is correct one carrier is 100 and the other is 160 of course kilohertz uh, of course you can change this value as you like so you will get uh, a different results on this simulation okay so the second figure shows you the sent or the received signal okay so this is the signal which is just the you add both of them since they are now on different carriers so you add both uh, components to one to one signal and here you can see that uh, the filters of each channel so you see that each one uh, fit properly in its own channel now when you receive it you uh, make the other thing around you use a band bus filter okay this this green and red uh, dots shows you the band bus filter and so you can separate them again into channel one and channel two uh, then you go through the modulation then you see this shows you the low bus filter okay this red one and using this one you can get again the filtered uh, signal that that you uh, just here uh, maybe we can make this look better okay so let's make it like this okay so when you make it like this you can see that it is the same it is the same signal as the, the original one okay and now if you want more into the idea of course uh, you can get also with the code uh, a detailed report okay which has all the details and the idea of the of the project and how it works okay uh, you will get all the files from the description thank you very much for watching and